Hi, my name's Todd. I'm with uh, Pooch Parents, PoochParents.com. Soft toy, Huggle Hounds. What the heck is a company doing making a toy that doesn't explode after 10 minutes of play? How are these guys gonna make any money making a soft toy that actually holds together? I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do it, to be honest with you. This toy, for a soft toy, is awesome. Now we have three dogs. I keep mentioning them every video, but you know what? I love them, so I'm going to. Mm, live with it! <laughs> Bentley, my Yorkie. He's my, little, he's my little man. Follows me around everywhere. One downside of Bentley is that, I don't even know if it's a downside, sometimes it's actually kind of cute. He likes to destroy soft toys. It's his mission to destroy. You put, if this had, I'm going to go into what this toy has as far as design features, but if this had a little button eye, oh my gosh, he'd be attacking that eye. Got to rip the eye out. And then once, of course, he gets the eye out of the toy, then there's a hole, then he attacks the hole, and the next thing you know, I'll have stuffing everywhere in my house, and he's going to be prancing around with a deflated toy, all proud of himself, and I'm just going to have to throw it away. <laughs> That's usually the way it goes down. Well, with Huggle Hounds, that's who makes this, Huggle Hounds, it lasts. It actually survived the first 15 minutes of use. I found, personally, if you can give a toy to your dog and you can't destroy it in 15 minutes, it'll last a long, long time. Because honestly, I think they just give up. At least Bentley does. I mean, he just kind of goes, all right, presented me a toy I couldn't destroy. I guess maybe now I'll just be cute with it and kind of carry it around and argue with my brothers over it and play a little tug of war and you know do a little more soft mouth stuff. I mean, that's, that's his personality. Now, if you have a Rottweiler or something like that, I mean, he's probably gonna swallow this thing. <laughs> I don't know if the Huggle Hound products have been actually tested to be digested by a Rottweiler. <laughs> but it holds together for a typical dog, um, even the smaller aggressive biting dogs or chewing dogs. I like it a lot. Now, is this going to be as cheap as what you're going to find at Petco or PetSmart or one of those huge box pet companies? Honestly, no. I mean, you go there, you buy a $7 soft toy thinking you're going to be a hero when you get home and you know, your dogs are going to love you, if possible, more than they did before you left and you give it to them and 15 minutes later you're kind of in all the stuffing up and throwing it away. That's a $7 toy. This is a $20 toy, a little bit less than 20 bucks retail. The upside of that, and most people freak out, oh my God, well, for 15 minutes of fun, 20 bucks. It, that's the key here, is that this will last longer than what a typical soft toy will last. So you get this thing home, you get past that 15 minute barrier, and now you have a toy that's probably gonna be around a while. It's a well-made toy. They do a couple of cool things as far as how they make it. The seams are all on the inside. They do a really good job in making sure that those seams are reinforced. The material they use is a material designed to take a beating and keep on going. The arms do have squeak toys in there, but they really reinforce the extremities so that if they sit there and they're gnawing on this thing, it's going to last. Again, it'll survive hopefully that initial chew. They use, which a lot of companies are using now, recycled bottle, you know, the plastic bottles, they throw it in here and it kind of crinkles. You saw that there's a squeaky toy in the arms. They don't use eye, little buttons for the eyes. Everything is stitched in and stitched in well. So if they decide they're going to start gnawing on this, this little ear right here, which I know Bentley would immediately either attack the eyes or the ears, that even if they get that ear to come off the toy, it's stitched really well behind it, so it's the stuffing from the head isn't going to just start spilling out all over the place. Really well thought out, really well designed. It isn't the most affordable product on the market as far as comparison to other soft toys, but you know what? It lasts. I also like the fact that everything's recyclable. You know, they, they try their best to be green, so that's always a plus. If you have questions about this toy or any other products, please email me todd.m at poochparents.com. If, if I'm not on my desk, it goes to my phone. If I'm not on my phone, usually my iPad's around. So go ahead and just shoot me an email and I'll get back to you. If you want to call, please call. But if you get voicemail, if we're busy, 
just leave a message and I'll call you back. I hope this helped. Hope this was informative. Hope it was fun to watch. And I'll talk to you later.